Hello everyone and welcome back to Aradia Alchemy. In today's video, we are back in my studio, we are back in the office with a good camera. I hope you are going to appreciate this effort and we are going to talk about obsession. This is a question that so many of you asked me on Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, follow me, the link is down below, nayat.visions. And you guys asked me this in relation obviously to a specific person and manifesting a specific person, but to be honest, it is is also in relation to manifesting anything in specific so let's distinguish between because this is the question you guys ask me so when I am manifesting a specific person should I get obsessed about this person so by getting obsessed about this specific person, I affirm more and therefore my manifestation comes faster, I just enter that state faster. But the same could be said with money or the same could be said with anything else. And I think that it is a legit question, but there is a subtle difference between a burning desire and an obsession in and of itself. It's similar, but they're actually two completely different states. And I didn't see any video really addressing this sort of question. Actually, there's only, oh, you shouldn't get obsessed, but they don't really explain you. What do they mean with you shouldn't get obsessed because you still have to have a burning desire for what you have. Otherwise, you will give up on it. So let's talk about it. Okay, before we get started, quickly, I have to say that I do offer DM coaching. The link is down below on my Etsy shop. I also added an unlimited DM coaching. You can message me as long as you want for a month and the price is very good considering the other DM coaching. And if you want a tarot reading for me, you can check my pick a card or reading kind of style on my channel, Naya Visions, and you can book a private reading with me as well. And the link is down below. With that out of the way, let's get started with to in order to manifest anything in your life whether this is money a house success a specific person love in general a special person you need to have a burn a burning desire like I mean this is what it is I'm gonna make a, another video that I want to record today about you shouldn't feel guilty of your desires so that's a different topic so let's just start with the fact that you don't feel guilty about your desires and you just desire whatever the fuck you want to desire okay so you desire a specific person you desire love you desire you desire luxury lifestyle fine you have to have or success whatever you have to have a burning desire. It has to be a legit burning desire. Now, the reason why you have to have, in my humble opinion, because remember, this is only my opinion. I don't hold the truth of the universe in my hand. I can only share what I know. But for what I know and for what I'm concerned, in my opinion, you have to have a burning desire because otherwise you wouldn't put the effort, the energy, the enough affirmation, the state of consciousness in order to manifest what you want. So for instance, let's say that you want success, maybe even social media success, and you just have a desire that it's not a burning desire. Like actually you want success because you see other people having it. It seems easy. It seems just what you want, but actually it's not a genuine burning desire. Like you don't really want it. What is going to happen most likely with you, you are going to start affirming and then you're going to give up on it. As soon as you hit a, rip, a roadblock, which you, which you will, majority of people do, it's life. It is normal, it could be your limiting belief system, it could be your old thoughts, it could be anything, it could be life, okay? I know that everything is a projection of your consciousness, please don't bite me in the comment section. However, challenges and obstacles can happen, but the person that has a burning desire wouldn't even perceive them as obstacles. That's the difference. The difference is the perspective. A person that is trained in the law and has a burning desire, everything always works out for me, doesn't even see it and keeps persisting no matter the circumstances, no matter what. And the reason why the person that knows the law and persist no matter what and succeeds eventually because it's going to happen. You are going to succeed. The reason that person does it is because he has a burning desire for two things. Change his self-concept because they are fed up with having no money. They are fed up with the life that they have experienced so far. They are fed up with the rejection. They are fed up on not finding love. They're fed up and they want to change. And first they want to change self. 
because they understand that by change itself, the mirror reflection of the existence will change. Second, they have a genuine desire for change. They have a genuine desire for whatever it is that they desire. That's why no matter what, they persist. On the other hand, if you don't have a genuine desire or actually a burning desire, you're eventually going to give up on it. And the reason that is, is because you don't want it bad enough. So you will start manifesting obstacles or seeing them, whatever, and you will start blaming your outside circumstances because in actuality, you are okay where you are. You don't actually want it bad enough. That's why not every person succeeds in manifestation. I intend for everyone that watches my video and everybody in the planet to succeed in manifestation because you're constantly manifesting, but to succeed in conscious manifestation. However, let's be honest over here. Not a lot of people succeed because they don't have a burning desire and they give up too soon. That, for me, it's that easy, honestly. They create excuses for themselves because they don't want it bad enough. Because if you want something bad enough, there is nothing that can be in the way of you and your desire. So this is very, very important to understand and state that you need to have a burning desire for success for that specific person for whatever it is. It has to be genuine. It has to be true. And it has to be so burning so consistent that you don't see any obstacles there is no obstacles that can never be there is no circumstance this thing that you want whatever this is it's yours period you're not gonna receive a no from anyone not even your consciousness that's it now there is a difference though between having a burning desire an obsession. Now, it is obvious that if you have a burning desire, you are obsessed with the object of your desire. Let's be fucking realistic over here. Yes, you are obsessed. Otherwise, you wouldn't even have a burning desire. However, the person that understands the law recognizes his obsession for the person, for the thing, for the money, for the house, for whatever they want. They recognize the obsession and they transform the obsession into a willingness to persist no matter what, which is not unhealthy. It is actually what many people, it is actually what drives many people to success. The fact that they are obsessed with their object of desire, but they transform the obsession into that willingness of persisting no matter what. There is a difference. And on the other hand, there is unhealthy obsession that is, I want my specific person or my specific object of desire, and I obsess and I affirm like a maniac, but inside, deep down inside, I feel I don't have it. And therefore, because I feel that I don't have it, I got so obsessed with it and I, cons I consume myself with it because I'm coming from lack, which ultimately translate into, I see myself separated from this person. I see myself separated from my objects of desire. I see myself as frustrated because frustration comes from I don't have what I want and I'm trying everything to force the 3D in or, or even my mind in order to get it as faster as I could. That's unhealthy attachment. That's unhealthy obsession because it implies a state of luck within your consciousness. So I think that there are not many videos, in my opinion, talking about this, but I think we have to make a distinctive division between, yes, you should persist. Yes, you should affirm. However, the obsession that it's inherent to having a burning desire has to be transformed into I persist no matter what because in my knowingness, I know that I have it and I'm peaceful about it. I know that no matter what, I'll get this. No matter what, I'll arrive to success. No matter what, my imaginative act is stronger than anything. I have this and I'm peaceful about it. And another thing is, oh my God, the scene is not coming. Let me do more affirmation because the more, because here, here's how you think, guys. The more I do the affirmation, the faster it's going to get. Lack frustration, forcing the subconscious mind to believe something when it's not ready. And what I always tell you guys is you cannot jump from point A to point Z. Some people can. I did that for sure, but you can't do it for everything, especially not for a subject that you have resistance upon. So 
persist, but in the knowingness that is already yours, not persist. I affirm more because actually what I'm trying to do is forcing the 3D. What I'm trying to do is forcing my subconscious mind to believe something that perhaps right now doesn't believe it yet. And that's why, because people say, but how long it's going to take? It's going to take how long it has to take. Because if your subconscious mind, your consciousness will believe in what you are affirming, it will be manifested. So you have to persist until it gets manifested, but you have to persist in a peaceful state of mind, in that peace, peaceful state of mind that it's, I'm going to get there. This thing is mine. In the meantime, I try to also have a life and work on other manifestation, work on myself, because first you have to change self. The person that does that, yes, can be obsessed, but it's an obsession that got transformed into something else, got transformed into a willingness to succeed, which is completely different. It's a completely different state of mind, state of consciousness. Obsession that is, I want to change the 3D. It has to happen right now. I need it right now. Do you see how the, all of this is forced? That's unhealthy attachment, unhealthy obsession. So to conclude this video and to be very sure, yes, there is a fundamental truth about People that usually have a burning desire are initially, I will say, obsessed with the object of their desire or that specific person. However, the person that is aware of the law of assumption and knows how to change self, hence change their reality, knows also how to transform the obsession in that willingness to thrive. And the, instead, the undisciplined man, like Neville will say, or the frustrated men cannot transform the obsession and uses it at his disadvantage to try to force the 3D and try to force especially the subconscious mind by forcing affirmation to believe it instantly. Do the affirmation but do them to feel good, not because you want it now. It will happen at any minute, at any minute your manifestation could drop. And with that being said, you should be calm about it because it could happen at any minute. You don't have to force it right now. Everything is always working out for you. You can affirm this. Everything for you is wonderful. It's done. You affirm to feel good. You affirm in the knowingness that nothing, nothing can come in your way of you and your desire. And if millions of people have to move to get, what, to get you what you want, they will. And with that being said, the burning desire will be your willingness to thrive. It's very different from unhealthy obsession. So I hope this video served you and made a very specific point on how to kind of, in my opinion, reframe your mind and use affirmation to benefit your journey rather than you know, get yourself anxious about it because many people affirm, but they force the feeling. They are very frustrated because they're const they're they're not in that state of it's done, and so they are so frustrated about their desire. And actually, affirmation makes them more anxious because of it. It is a matter of perspective, guys. Affirmations work no matter what; they always work. But it is how you use them how you frame them and in what state of mind or actually where you're directing your mind, in what perspective that will change the outcome of your experiences. I hope this video is clear, it's very simple to understand. Let me know in the comment section if it makes sense what I'm saying between obsession and burning desire and I'll see you very soon on this channel. I love you guys. Ah, and follow my Patreon for extra videos as well. Love you, bye!